Okay, now, for police to win the war on crime, community members need to support the men and women in blue. That's according to the Independent Policing Union of South Africa, IPUSA. The union is urging government to create more awareness of police events that seek to engage communities and commemorate fallen officers. Let's chat more about this and their idea with the General Secretary of IPUSA, Mpo Kwinika. Mr. Kwinika, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, uh, for joining us uh, here on today, this, uh, this afternoon. Uh, you are advocating for closer relations between the police and the communities, and you say one way of doing it is to involve the communities in some of the events that, for example, commemorate the fallen uh, men and women in blue. Why? Uh, good afternoon, Braden. We believe that it is important for South Africans to, to come and join the police, the families of the bereaved uh, 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 police officials who have been killed in the line of duty, so that they can show solidarity uh, with them especially in a way of showing criminals that we are a unit and we need to work together to win the war against them. But the, the, the significance of this day, Braden, um, it, it, it does not show, especially when uh, this event is being held. Uh, remember, this event is held throughout the world and the countries have got different ways of doing this. And, uh, and, and South Africa uh, is one of those countries that are uh, commemorating this day and would love them to do it similarly to how the other countries in the world are doing it. Just remind us again, which day is this? Uh, th th this is the first week of September set aside by government to commemorate uh, the, 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 the lives of police officers who have been killed uh, in the line of duty. Uh, and, and, and there are a lot of, of police officers, uh, uh, Braden, who are being killed off duty. And we are having a debate around this because they also have to be commemorated. Uh, there are also public service personnel who are also killed in the line of duty. And these people, we don't see them forming part of this event. So uh, the uh, members of the communities who work with the police officers like the CPF structures, who are killed in the line of duty. I'm not trying to say that these people are police officials, but what we are saying is that the event itself is too short. If we were to, 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 to take a week, you know, and call it a police week, and make sure that the event that deals with policing in the country and involve all people who are interested or who have got keen interest in policy, the leadership from the communities and the communities themselves to come and assemble and, and come and experience this uh, somber mood people go yeah. through so, on this day. So it's, th this week you mentioned it starts uh, on it's, it's, this commemoration is held on the first Sunday of September, but you are saying let's do it bigger and better and maybe even longer and involve community members. After all, police officers are also members of the community. Yeah, they're, yes, they are members of the communities. But remember, uh, we have got to. We have got a contract as police officials. We've got a contract with the state through this department, SAPS. That contract it is to protect the lives and properties of our citizens. Uh, is to ensure that the assets of the state are being looked after and to make sure that the natural resources of our country are taken care of. And that job can be is only done by the police, but with the assistance of the communities. I okay. want to separate that. Yes, that no, I, I understand. So, so just attending an event is not a symbolic thing. You want involvement and proper engagement with the community, showing their support in active ways with the police. Uh, Exactly. We don't need them only at the battlefield in the fight against crime. We want them as well in situations such as this one, so that the police can have a sense of belonging, a sense of, uh, of, 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 of to have that feeling that they are being loved for the sacrifices that they make in this country. Okay. So, so now, uh, currently, 
you, police men and women are, are coming under attack. Uh, CPF members are coming under, under attack beyond commemoration, using this as an opportunity to connect community and police. What else do you as IPUSA think can happen on a sustainable basis to improve the relations of trust, especially between communities and your members of the police force? Look, there are means which government is trying to do this by incorporating the the the, the community policing forums into the uh, the civilian secretariat act, and I think that process has been ongoing for quite some time. We will see the involvement of communities, you know, on daily basis, uh, not compelling them, but really trying to improve, to encourage them to form part of this through a legislative means. But we also want to see uh, the community policing forums that integrate the lives of the police officials together with business through what we call the social crime, uh, the social crime prevention strategies, where you have got people like the churches against crime, uh, business against crime, you know, schools against crime, rallying all these communities together to come and uh, join the police in the fight against crime. Uh, 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 Brother, this is not an easy task. It's a very daunted task. We know that guns are not being carried by the communities. Guns are carried by the police. But criminals are carrying more guns. That, uh, they are carrying guns, some of them which are even more powerful than the, what the police are having. But for us to be able to win this war against these people, we should do what the communities of Makado have done by giving South Africans an ear on the issue that we have seen uh, taking place in uh, Makado last week. That is uh, something that we celebrate, and I think South Africans celebrate too, that criminals, when they are caught, should be dealt with ruthlessly. We can do that when we do it together. Thank you very much, Mpo Kwinika, the General Secretary of IPUSA, the Independent Policing Union of South Africa. They are calling for more closer, or rather closer relations with the community. And uh, that's because of the world marking the first Sunday of September as a day to commemorate the fallen men uh, and women in blue in our country. They want the government to do more and get the communities involved more in such, not just as a symbolism thing, but as a very practical thing to show support for the police.